Hi, my name's Claire Duncan and I'm a biology teacher and I've put together a short clip to try and help higher biology students understand photosynthesis. So photosynthesis is divided into two stages. The first is called photolysis. This is a separation of molecules by the action of light and it occurs in structures that look a little bit like stacks of coins called granum and they contain chlorophyll. So in the first part of photolysis is when light energy is absorbed by a pigment molecule. Its electrons become excited. The electrons are transferred through the electron transport chain. This releases energy to generate ATP by ATP synthase. The second part of photolysis um, energy is also used to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. The oxygen is released from the leaves by diffusion. And that is the end of the oxygen. The hydrogen is transferred to coenzyme NADP to form NADPH and is carried to the carbon fixation stage. So remember in respiration you had NAD and NADH. In photosynthesis you're adding in a P, so you've got NADP and NADPH. The second stage in photosynthesis is the carbon fixation stage. There are three key intermediates, which are RUBP, 3-phosphoglycerate and glyceraldehyde. The location of the carbon fixation is in the stroma. So the enzyme Rubisco fixes carbon dioxide by attaching it to RUBP. The 3-PG produced is phosphorylated by ATP and combined with the hydrogen from NADPH to form G3P. G3P is used to generate RUBP using ATP, which is broken down to ADP. Also at this stage, glucose is synthesized and this can be used in four key areas. Respiration, which provides energy for growth and repair. Starch synthesis, which is a storage carbohydrate. Cellulose synthesis, which is a structural carbohydrate that can be used for cell walls. And biosynthetic pathways, such as fats and oils, proteins, and nu nucleic acid and DNA. And that's everything. Thanks very much.